What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Shouldn't talk about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Talking about this idea of Terra Carpenter being the killer because I see that jumping around a lot more so than it was previously. I know this is something that's kind of been a hot and cold topic right now or right now after the trailer has dropped. It's now back at being a hot topic due to a certain stare that, that Jenna Ortega playing Terra Carpenter gives to whoever it may be. It looks like she is being held up or she's holding someone else trying to hold them up and she might drop them or something looks like it's going on in the trailer that has people thinking oh tara's in cahoots tara's one of the killers i don't see tara carpenter being one of the killers one because uh it just feels like it would undo a lot of what has already happened to her in screen five in the sense of <laughs> we not only that the fact that Jenna Ortega herself is what she's around the same height as Mikey Madison and if you were going to tell me that she did this herself single-handedly that is something that just cannot be completely sold to me that can't be sold I know they they evened it out with Mikey by giving us Jack Quaid but then a lot of that also falls apart because I think they've gone out of their way to say that uh Amber was the one who did a lot of the kills in Screen 5 which again I can suspend my disbelief I can suspend my disbelief but when you tell me that if you would have told me Amber did that all by herself, no. If you tell me that Tara Carpenter did everything in Scream 6 all by herself, one, you we know that's not possible because unless this is a gag, unless the grocery store bodega's attack sequence is a gag and whoever is in the Ghostface costume isn't even working with Tara, she can't even be doing this alone because we see Ghostface attacking her in the bodega. Uh, but again, on top of that, it just feels like it would undo a lot of what they've set up for her previously in Screen 5. And seeing us get a repaired sister bond that is forming through this trilogy. Now, that doesn't mean that they can't do something else that I think I would be more okay with. I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say I still would agree with it if they did it. But if they did it in an effective manner, I will still give praise to something like this. So... I'm not going to say that she cannot be Ghostface, period, because, of course, she she can be. Chances are she isn't believable by herself. That's just the thing. Aside from that, I know a lot of this is stemming from, again, that image in the trailer of Tara smiling. What's happening? Uh, what's happening in that instance? It seems to be the belief that Tara turns on Sam and causes her to fall, die, etc. There's a strong chance that that image is just completely out of context for the sake of throwing us off track. Now, let's pretend that Tara is the killer really quick, but not in the way of donning the costume and going crazy or ape shit on, on her friends or her sister. But what if in between the events of five and six, Tara grew to hate Sam, so she decided that, hey, maybe Amber and Richie should have killed her when they had the chance. Tara could also have grown to blame Sam for their parents' separation, and thus, it would also be Sam's fault that Tara had to suffer with Christina while she was dealing with her addiction, and who knows how she may or may not have taken this out on Tara. Christina, with her addiction and everything, who knows how this could have impacted Tara. So in Tara's now warped mind, she's like, hey, Amber wouldn't have gotten this ghost face idea if, if you, that being Sam, didn't come from such a one terrible person, that being Billy Loomis. And then also Tara's warped mindset leads to her, leads to her blaming Sam for everything she's she's the reason Tara's teen years were a struggle she's the reason mom and dad broke up and she's the reason her friends died last year when they didn't deserve it but Sam did according to again Tara's own warped mind so Tara in another twisted turn decided to orchestrate a new spree with relatives of Amber who have been mad at Sam since her demise I guess in this case, you could say Tara is in her Roman bag in her Roman era, uh, similar how Roman manipulated and convinced Billy to do X, Y, Z. So let's say that Tara convinces Amber's dad and brother, who I'll say are Jack Champion and Dramont Maroney's characters uh, to orchestrate a new spree and blame Sam for it because A, they already want her dead and blame her for Amber's downfall. B, the public already believes their daughter their daughter slash sister in this case is amber was innocent and that and that sam was the one responsible for the events of five and c sam's mental state is just on a downward down, downward spiral as it is so tara doesn't 
Tara doesn't touch anything when it comes to the killings. All she does is plant a seed and Dermot and Jack handle everything else. So here's the other thing with Dermot. What if he actually needs someone to pin a crime on due to his own corrupt policing? So Sam becomes... So Sam becomes a great person to pin it all on and get justice for his daughter, Amber, in the process as well. Now, I know people are, are probably like, but par Amber's parents lived in Stu's house. Yes, that's what we were told. However, what if the context of that is that she was just living with her birth mother who were, who remarried a man who moved into Stu's place? That, that could be the missing context there to rationalize how her father is in this movie, how nobody recognizes her father because no one has met her father outside of Amber, who or I mean to say outside of Tara, who tracked her father down, found out that, that Amber actually has, an, has another sibling, a brother who, again, is Jack Champion in my theory. And she's convinced both of them to take that aggression that they have out on or that they have towards Sam, just out on Sam, out on the rest of the survivors and get their revenge for Amber in that fashion. Those are just my own two cents and how I could see a more believable narrative for Tara being involved play out. It would be something occurring in which she is not doing a single thing when it pertains to donning the ghost face mask. It could be something as simple as she was upset with Sam. She started blaming Sam in between the events of five and six, and she decided to take it upon herself to track down some individuals who are related to Amber. She found out that, that Amber's birth dad lives in New York, etc. They conveniently moved to New York and all of this was orchestrated by Tara. That is something that would be more believable. That is not something I actually think they would do. But well, you guys can let me know what do you think about uh amber's parents or amber's dad and brother being the killer in scream six down in the comment section below do you like that idea do you not like that idea uh let me know down in the comment section below because i just seen a lot of stuff about Tara being the killer and i want to give my two cents on how i could see a more logical narrative with that playing out and how i could digest it a little bit more even if it's something that again i still would not prefer to see play out if it were to play out i prefer it be done in a manner in which she didn't actually do anything outside of just orchestrating and manipulating another pair of individuals to do a new spree to get back at sam carpenter for all of this aggression and frustration she has built up towards her sister for the past several years uh again let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video